<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rage and Rant, our new series where we rage about stupid stuff in the gaming industry. As <laughs> Oscar teabags behind the camera. <laughs> Today I will be the rager and you will be... Wait, we... Okay, they probably haven't seen us before, so okay. we should introduce That's ourselves. True. I'm Lucky Green. That's his face. This is my, well, this is my face. Our first video, the scuba skate, they saw all of us. Oh yeah, I forgot. But, oh, okay. Probably okay, that's Mario. Seen. That is me, Mariti. Yeah, Call and me that. then we have Oscar here behind the camera. Yeah, but yes. check out our scuba skate video and you'll scuba see all of us. Scuba skate scuba video skate. and you'll see all of us. Literally all right. the first video we uploaded. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Rage and Rant. Rage and Rant. What is this series about, Mario? I just said we're gonna rage. You're gonna interview me all right. about stupid things in the gaming industry. I agree. And I'm gonna rage. Right. I'm gonna get really passionate. So without further ado, my piss a little. <laughs> okay. I think I, I was started. Think without I further ado, we should dive in. Do this. To that sucker. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay, so. So today, so, okay Mario, what yes. what, what games have, are, are, what, like, are you gonna rant about? Like, well, I made some notes for Grand Theft Auto V, and I made some notes for Battlefront. So that's those are the two things that came up. Okay, so basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna ask you some questions, mm -hmm. uh, and you're just gonna talk talk about answer those questions and also talk about what you don't like or what makes you mad and shit like that. All right, so should we get started in this sucker? We shall. All right. So let's get started with GTA V. What? Let's start with the basic question. What do you hate about it? Or what don't you like about it? Listen here. <clears throat> Listen here. Voice crack 101. <clears throat> Grand Theft Auto 5. It's fucking boring to play. I cannot stand this! I cannot stand this. Stand there's, this, ladies there's, there's really... Okay, so I got GTA 5, uh, the next gen version. Had it for like a month. That was enough. Traded that into GameStop. I never do that, but I was like, I don't want this in my library, dude. It'd be, it'd be the very boring to play. The story, it's cool. The characters, cool. No, one, one thing that pisses me. Fuck off, okay, Trevor. You better back up. You know, the, you know, the, you, you know the character Trevor. You know Trevor Phillips. Yes, he, yes. Yeah, people love him, right? Nick. Yeah, people love him. He's like iconic, right? People love him. He's a, he's a fun character. I agree, but he's a dick. He is so unlikable, and people praise that man. I don't like Trevor. He's 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 trash. <laughs> Inside a human body, dude. Homie is like a drunkard. Homie is like a murderer. Homie is like a satanist. I mean, if you, there's a little tattoo of his. Never. Mind. Homie is like bangs other ladies and then murders the guy, this girl, girl, guy, the the girl's boyfriend with his foot. I don't like Trevor. I don't. I don't get why people love him so much. So you don't like Trevor. I don't like Trevor. You don't like Trevor. I okay. Think, I think people like him because he's a fun character, but I cannot stand into this. And the All gameplay, right. the gunplay, dude. The aim assist in Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto Five. I cannot stand the aim assist. I cannot stand the aim assist. It's either the game is filled with 100% aim assist and the gameplay is done for you. Click L2. You click R2. You're, you're literally there, there's a guy over there. You're over here. You click R2. You click L2 or left trigger. And it goes <gasps> like where's the fun in that? <laughs> or it's, it's either that or you, there's no aim assist and you're trying to kill a guy and like the tiny little dot, the tiny little butthole you're trying to shoot the guy with, like you can't even aim at him. I don't like the gunplay in Grand Theft Auto 5. Watch Dogs does it better. Story it was cool. It wasn't, you know, anything amazing, but it was a cool story. And Trevor, you can burn in hell. You can suck at these nuts right here, right now. Well, he, uh, he, uh, he actually does. He actually does have a chance of. I can't stand this. Hey, dude. All right. So that's 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 why Grand Theft Auto Five. No. 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 So, they don't like the gunplay. In assist. So was Trevor. that was that was that all you didn't like, or was there yeah. any other things? No. And anything in regards to the multiplayer, or the story, or the side missions, or the other characters, Franklin. And everything else was Michael, fine. Everything else was fine. Yeah. I, I mean, it, I could tell that this game took lots of years to make. I could tell this game had a big budget, because like the map, very detailed, lots of things to do. 
So that's good. You can't you can't but go wrong with that method. When you can't get really nice. when the core of it, the gameplay, when the core of it, the shooting people is bad. I cannot stay in this. When the core, when everything around you is beautiful and there's so many things to do, but when the core of it is bad, when it's either <laughs> or it's I can't eat that sucker. I cannot stay in this. <laughs> Okay, all right. So let, let, okay, let's so let's drop the GTA Five and let's move on to battle <laughs> Battlefield. That's my point. It's we're talking about battle. So we're talking about Star Wars Battlefront. Are we talking about Battlefront or Battlefield? Star Wars. Here battle. you marked it Battlefield. You see, because in my head I thought Battlefield. Okay. So Which, so what, what do you think? What do you think it's like Battlefield? Is it just the gameplay, or or is it or is it the gun, the mechanics? Why do I think it's like Battlefield? Trigger. Oh, is it? It's made by DICE. Trigger. That was not a bad thing. Trigger. The gunplay is Battlefield. Trigger. The maps are Battlefield. Trigger. The graphics are Battlefield, but better. Star Wars Battlefront, best graphics I've ever seen in a video game. Best sound design I've ever seen in a video game. If you've ever heard in a video game. Trigger. <laughs> Trigger. Don't interrupt me. I am gonna interrupt you. I can't stand this! <laughs> Sorry, don't want to put this on you. I want to put this. Hey, you're gonna put this on me. No, I'll knock you on your ass, kid. Not gonna stand for that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right. Yeah, battle. Star Wars Battlefront. <clears throat> okay, so um, first of all, I haven't played the whole game, so this is kind of just of the beta, what they've shown. So this is a beta like, impression. Beta impression. Yep. Mm -hmm. all all right. of, although I'm sure that the game's just gonna be the beta plus more, more content. We've already played. We already know how it's gonna play out. The gameplay, the maps, the shitty ass, weak, bare bones customization, the lack of weapons, the. I cannot stand this! Okay, ask me some questions before I kill myself. Okay. Okay, so what, what's what's what what's so bare bones about the customization? Even though we there, haven't had the full, there, full, there is we no, haven't had the full. There is no customization. There is no customization. There is no customization. You can't put skins on your guns. You can't put attachments on your guns. Trigger. The only state the only customization you got is some perk cards. And then I know you're, you're going to be able to customize your character, but who gives a shit about that? It's about the gameplay. Well, it's about the gameplay. You're a third person, so I think character customization is gonna be pretty big. But anyway, I digress. So, about this, <laughs> about the season pass. Okay. Wait, well, what's wrong with the season pass? Okay, so, this is a tricky one because lots of games do this. Yes, yes. A lot of games do the season pass. So why don't, why am I picking on Battlefront? There's a reason why I'm picking on Battlefront. Let, let's let's do the obvious example: Call of Duty season pass. Because it's the same price, and it's, they're both first-person shooters that are going to have, you know, stuff like that. We already know what we're getting when we buy the season pass for Call of Duty. We're going to get, like, four multiplayer maps, a pack, a zombie map, uh, Advanced Warfare did, like, the guns. We might get guns. You know, Star Wars Battlefront, they haven't explained anything of what we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the season pass. We don't know what we're going to get, but they still want us to buy it. They're still pushing it down our face, which a lot of companies do, but they don't tell us. I saw a video where one of the one of the IGN, what what do they call the uh, IGN advisors or whatever they they emailed them, what is going to be included in the Star Wars Battlefront season pass? And you know what they said? Do you know what they said? What? Do you know what Dice or EA said? I don't know what they said. Let me tell you what they said. They said, you will be sure to find out once you purchase it. In that they that's what they kind. of I don't know word for word, but they said, buy it and find out. That's technically what they said. You know what I say? You know what I say? <laughs> gonna break this couch, nigga. <laughs> I say, trigger. Nobody gonna buy your damn season pass if you don't tell them what they're gonna purchase. What they're gonna get. I see. Yeah. I see. Yep. And to the people that are like, well, it's dice, so they're probably gonna, you know, the battle, the battlefield the Battlefield uh, Season Pass, which is like Battlefield Premium. There are people that are saying, well, they're just gonna do what they did with Battlefield for Premium, you know, more maps, the weapons. You know what I say? We can't compare Battlefront to Battlefield. You wanna why? 
<laughs> but you just said Battlefront because it's like Battlefield. Okay, we in terms of in terms of extra content. Okay, um, I apologize. In terms of in terms of the DLC, because okay. we're talking about the DLC content wise. In terms of content wise, we can't compare what they gave us with Battlefield for DLC and what they gave us for Battlefront. Okay, in terms of content, because you wanna know why? You wanna know why? You know what Battlefield gave us? It gave us multiplayer, all that, and it gave us a campaign. It gave us a story. It gave us a nice lengthy story. You know what they're giving us for Battlefront instead? Slice the campaign, slice the content, which means slice the content in the season pass. I should not see this. But you see, that's what's interesting is because since Dice is running the multiplayer game, who knows where we're gonna get with Battlefront? So I think we should stay tuned for that. Yeah, they're gonna want you to buy this DLC for the story mode, which should be in the game. That's what's going on. I heard you know, you know, what's, you, you know what's saving Battlefront? The Star Wars. You, the Star Wars in the title. That's what's saving it. You know, these other multiplayer games, Titanfall, Evolve, they're dead. They're gone. You know why? Lack of content. Lack of custom. La well, other games have better customization than Battlefront. Lack of content, okay? Lack of content. I see. So is, is the campaign a, a really big issue for you? Yes, it is. It is a big issue. Because there's I'm sure there's not one thing that Star Wars, fan, Star Wars fans would want to see is an epic cinematic Star Wars story by DICE. Have you, have you ever played a Battlefield story? The, the, the actual narrative is, what, is always whatever, but the cinematics is amazing. The cinematics are nice, yes. Star Wars cinematics. Cannot stand this. Would you know? You do know the original Battlefields did not have. I mean, Battlefronts did not have a have a story. Battlefront one and two. That's that's where this comes in. That's where I get fucking pissed. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because that is an excuse that people give Dice to give them less content. We're gonna do it like the old ones, except we're not because we're gonna give it the Battlefield push. We are not the makers of the old Battlefronts. We're gonna make this new one our way. So shut up with the old ones. Shut up, shut up about the old ones, okay? This is a new Battlefront series, okay? It's new, it's not gonna feel like the old ones. It's not gonna look like the old ones, so shut up and give us the content we deserve. More content, no excuses, no excuses. All right, you just spit everywhere as well. <laughs> and on that note, any other things you would like to say about either of these games? I want Battlefront to be good. I wish Star. I wish GTA Five would have been great. I'm gonna end it off with this. I cannot stand this. What the fuck. I'm out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was an interview conducted with Mario Landeros, aka Nerd Gamer Productions. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed that, except for the last scene. And thank you guys for watching. I am scarred. Good night.